Tell me about uh, what you try and do with the food, with it being healthy and being good for people. Yeah, the, well, my main goal is to provide to people healthy Mexican food. I mean, there, I know there's a lot of restaurants, and Sonoma County is well known for having really good restaurants. So, I want to promote the green. Like, I only use cardboard boxes and paper paper bags to for to go. I don't use a styrofoam, and I don't use uh, you know plastic bags. I, I refuse to use those. And I wish everybody on the restaurant side would do that because we need to start doing something about the environment. So yeah. my goal is to be. I think I'm already in, you know, the Mexican sa restaurant side. The first one to go green, 100%. And the healthy part is something that I want to do, and something that I developed through the years. I found a way to cook without grease. You don't need grease. I only use water on the griddle. So, and everything comes out the same, and, and it's tasty. And I do most of the stuff, you know, the original and traditional way that I learned in Mexico like tamales, chili rellenos, like you guys saw, uh, my carnitas, everything, but it doesn't have to have grease. And that's something that, you know, we have to start teaching people. We need to, to be more healthy about eating. You, you talked about growing up on a farm and uh -huh. eating meat once a week. How, how has that in, impacted your cooking? Like, oh, I see. Well, you know, I just, I'm just creative when it comes to cooking. And I've developed that over the years because I've been cooking ever since I remember. You know, learning from my mom. So I love to use whatever I have. Like I only I only use certain things to cook you, like herbs and uh, oregano, garlic. There's only like five or six condiments that I use. And of course, I love to use vegetables, all kinds of vegetables, and the meats, but. I only like to cook with what I have, so I have the choices for it. Anybody that comes in and they have a craving, most of the time I have what they want. So it doesn't have to be meat all the time. It can be just as good with fish or shrimp or even vegetables or eggs, you know. You do the combination with the flavors. And I can cook pretty much anything for people. The, the McDougal style, what, what is that? I McDougal is uh, like one step more than healthy. It's catered to people that have a diabetes, mainly diabetes. Dr. John McDougal is a very famous nutritionist that we have the pleasure to have in Sonoma County. And he's nationwide and international, you know, famous for this way of cooking that he created with no meats, no oils, no dairy. Mainly vegetables, rice and beans, a lot of rice and beans, black beans, mainly and brown rice. But uh, I have the privilege of know Dr. McDougall. He's one of our best customers. So it's a uh, one more step than healthy. It's super healthy, and it's catered, like I say, to people that that has diabetes. And do you still have that McDougall section in the menu? Oh or? yeah, <laughs> always. It's very popular. There's. 10, 12 things on it? It's about eight. Oh, that's still. Yeah, because you know, you can only use rice, beans, and vegetables. <laughs> and uh, you can use tofu now, you know, for, but I haven't added that to my menu. I'm working on ways of making tofu tacos. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can still use cilantro, onions, and salsa, and everything. As long as you don't use cheese, or oil, or meats. So that's where, that's where the creative part comes.